Welcome to the SHOT Show new product premiere coming at you from the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. This year's show is set to be the largest, featuring more than 800,000 square feet of the latest and greatest shooting, hunting, and outdoor products for 2022. Our team of industry professionals get the inside scoop on the latest developments, as well as some never before seen products. It's all designed to make your next adventure a successful one. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo. I'm joined by Jared Grove. We're at the Caldwell booth, and Jared, we're looking at some new Ear Pro. Yeah, we've brought our new Emacs Shadow Pros uh, to the show to show off. Um, we had a huge success uh, with our original Shadows, yep. but we made a few changes. They're still uh, Bluetooth earbuds, so you can listen to music, and they protect your hearing. They actually have a 25 dB NRR, so we were able to increase uh, the noise protection rating on them. With the new Pros, come with an optional lanyard option. The case has a charge level indicator for the case and each earbud itself, so you know how much charge is left in. Yeah. So that's a big improvement. We changed the button style to an actual push button, so you can go through mode on, on one ear and volume up and down on the other. And then it actually has an adjustable ambient noise, so uh, your normal hearing when you're hearing on the range, you can turn it up or down if you're shooting indoor and you're yeah. getting a lot of percussion. Turn down if you're hunting and you want to hear a the animal more. sneaking up on you, yeah. turn it up. Yeah, so for those who might not be familiar, when we look at digital hearing protection like this, you know, for those people that are still using their foamies and, and putting the muffs on top, these things digitally compress impact sounds like gunshots, yes. but they also amplify the lower tones like conversation. Yeah. Really a handy tool. Very nice, like you say, on the range or in the field. In terms of Bluetooth, you know, you can connect to your phone. And as you mentioned, we have a lot of monitoring, but you guys have taken it a step further too. Yep, so the other product that we're launching for our hearing protection, we're calling the Link. Uh, this is a radio that pairs wirelessly to the Bluetooth. So any of the Coldwell Bluetooth hearing protection will pair wirelessly, uses the microphone in the hearing protection to communicate, so you can do voice activated. So you pair to one Link and then whoever else is using would pair on their link. Yeah. And then you communicate up to a 12 mile range uh, wow. line of sight. Um, so it's great for on the range, for giving instruction or in the field to be able to communicate without yelling and you'd be able to communicate right through the hearing protection itself. Yeah, and it does look like a walkie talkie, if you will. But like you said, once it's set up and paired with your headset, it's hands-free operation. Yeah, absolutely. And it does Bluetooth wirelessly. And if you have any of the Emacs family of electronic hearing protection that's not Bluetooth, it can pair with a uh, audio jack cord. So it is hardwired and you can use the radio to speak. Yeah. But, so it will work with all the electronic Caldwell hearing protection that we've made. Well, that's definitely a big enhancement kind of in that space and no surprise that it's coming from Caldwell. I mean, just great hearing protection all the way around. Before we go, I do want to mention another product that we have been, I would say, tracking, oh. intimately tracking, if you will. In fact, I broke a prototype. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's the Claymore. The <laughs> Claymore thrower. We, we brought it here, and we have thrown, I don't know, we should have put a counter on it because they have been launching clays. We actually built like a batting cage in our booth here so people can try it out. It's been a huge hit. Yeah. I've uh, been a line of people uh, taking videos and posted on online, um, so I, we're really excited to have that here. Yeah, and we do have a lot of coverage at Guns and Ammo on this. In fact, we reviewed it on the television show, and as I said, we were here a year ago seeing prototypes of it, and basically it takes that concept of a portable, uh, manually operated um, clay thrower to the next level. There's no more car batteries. There's also no more getting your buddy to uh, to, to pitch the clays with a hand thrower. <laughs> yeah. This thing is a one-shot deal. It's awesome, all in one. Yeah, 50 clays, foot operated, no battery. It's, it's an awesome machine. We've been very, very glad to show it off here. Great stuff. Now, Jared, if people want to find out more about these awesome new Caldwell products, where do they need to go? CaldwellShooting.com. Thanks so much, buddy. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Hi, I'm Adam Hagensoller from Game and Fish Magazine here with Rafe Nielsen from Browning to talk about new rifles for 2022. Yeah, we're really excited to have two real new platforms out this year for us. We're really excited to have one for target shooting and one for hunting, of course. So the first one we'll talk about is this new Target Max rifle that we'll have out this year. And you'll see us some similarities with the X-Bolts. It's the same Max rifle stock that we've had in the past, the adjustable comb, as well as adjustable length of pull. So you can really customize how that fits into your, into your, uh, in your shooting stance and, and the way you shoot. 
a more vertical pistol grip as well, which is a lot more popular for the, for the target shooters as well. And then something also you see a lot in X-Bolts now is our new recoil hog uh, muzzle brake that we have out there. Really built for taking off a lot of uh, pressure on the recoil, of course, but what it really does is it helps keep your muzzle jump down. So you're able to see your target impacts. And it keeps you on target to, for follow-up shots uh, for those types of things. So it's been great. It'll reduce your recoil by up to 77% and some of those heavier calibers as well. So really happy to have the standard stuff that you know in an x -bolt. So then you kind of move into what do we do differently for this target gun. So aesthetically, you can tell it has a Dropbox magazine, which is certainly new for Browning. We've never done a Dropbox magazine before. 10 round magazine, it's an MDT magazine, comes with the gun that way. So it's ready to go for competition. You don't have to keep reloading for those extended shots that you have to take um, for those competition pieces. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is a much more robust receiver. Uh, we build it on a full diameter receiver, so it's much stiffer, um, heavier, weighs a little bit heavier than a typical X-Bolt, but it's to keep it stiff so it shoots better for, for target shooters that way. Uh, so you'll see noticeably a bigger receiver in there. And then the other thing that's been really cool about this rifle that we've liked is the new double level trigger. So if you're familiar with the X-Bolt feather trigger, everybody loves it. There's zero creep, zero over travel, zero take up, super crisp um, trigger. We've just taken this with an additional lever inside the system that takes up uh, a lot more of the weight. So now we're able to go down to a two pound trigger. So you can set it all the way to two pounds, much more uh, reliable type of shooting for the target guys. So if you take it, you understand the dynamics of what a, an export trigger is. Now we've even lightened uh, what that trigger pull is. So it's a super crisp trigger, works really well. And we're really excited to have this whole platform. This is built for, for PRS shooting. Um, right out of the box, retail is going to be around $1,600, weighs less than 10 pounds. So those who are interested in getting into target shooting, they can jump right in, buy this, and they can head right to their next competition. Outstanding. So you guys have, you know, target shooters covered with, with this X-Bolt, and now the other X-Bolt, the uh, Speed SR, yes. you know, for the mountain hunter. Exactly. So the Speed Rifle we've had on the line for a long time. Um, it's basically our camouflage stock with a Cerakote barrel and receiver. Um, with fl uh, fluting on it. That's kind of the standard speed rifle that we've had on the line for a long time. So this year, we, the new pieces that we're doing is obviously, you can tell it's a new camel pattern. We go to this new Ovix camel pattern. It's a cool new pattern that we're doing. We've also lightened up the color of the Cerakote as well, so it's not as harsh of a color to match the, the camel pattern as well. And then we've done three different versions. Obviously, there's a standard uh, speed rifle that we've always done. This year, we're doing a suppressor-ready version of it as well. Uh, you can see that it's a much shorter barrel, so on calibers like a 6.5 Creedmoor, it's an 18-inch barrel. Uh, and so that allows it um, much more compact to use if you want to use for mountain hunting. It's lighter weight, easier to carry. Really enjoy that. And then also, because it's shorter, it's going to be more adaptable for a, for a suppressor when those extend themselves out. It's not so cumbersome. You don't have 30 inches worth of barrel to, to worry about. So a nice compact frame for either shooting with the suppressor or if you like a light weight gun for mountain hunting, sits in a pack really well. That works well as, as well from that standpoint. And then the other one we do is a long range version as well. So it's a longer uh, barrel profile and it has an adjustable comb system on it as well. So there's really three new guns in the speed line. Um, obviously we're showing the suppressor ready one here, but there's, there's three, three new additional guns there. And then the Cerakote too, I understand that is a proprietary uh, color? The colors are, yes. We always work with those guys to make sure we have something a little different than we can own ourselves. And so we did come out with a little bit lighter weight, a little lighter color for the Cerakote this year on it. It looks really great. And then how much does that rifle weigh? Uh, this one is right at six pounds. So it truly is a, a true mountain rifle you can put in your pack and, and, and really go up a mountain. Excellent. Whether you're a target shooter or a hunter, the Browning Export Rifles new for 2022 have you covered. Hey, I'm David Draper with Peterson's Hunting, and I'm here with Brandon Maddox from Silencer Central. If you don't know what Silencer Central is, you should, because they got a cool product and a really cool service, selling suppressors, silencers, whatever you want to call them. Shooters know what suppressors are. Suppressors are very popular in the market. I think maybe hunters aren't quite grasping it yet. Maybe prairie dog shooters and those kind of guys, but guys, like, if I'm a deer hunter, why do I need a suppressor? What is the benefit of a suppressor? Yeah, good question. So obviously one is the recoil reduction. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't think about that, which yeah. is a benefit. Yeah. And then also typically hunting is a social sport. So if you're hunting with other people, it's hard to communicate if you both have earplugs that's in. Very, that's a very true point. Yeah, so, so you're gonna have the, you know, these are all hearing safe yeah. for your bigger caliber rifles. Yeah. Um, you know, the benefit too is if you shoot and were to miss, then you actually don't have to change locations. Typically they're still there, sort of sort of enhances yeah. that experience. That's one thing I've noticed with suppressors when I'm hunting is sometimes the animals react very differently. Like yes. they, they mitigate the sound enough 
that they, they're confused by it almost. They're, they're still going to hear it. It's not silent. Right. It's the silence where it's not silent. So animals, you will maybe have a follow-up shot that you might not get if you miss with an unsuppressed rifle. Yeah, 100%, because I'll even, I'll see scenarios where you shoot and maybe the bullet drops behind them and they'll yeah. come running towards you because they couldn't tell where it came from. Exactly, so that's yeah. another good benefit. And also I think we just need to be conscious. I've been shooting my whole life. I'm ringing in my ears right now. I have a tini I'm a tinnitus yeah. guy. And I think for our youth and our young hunters, I think if you're not having your child or young hunter shoot suppressed, you need to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so. that's really popular, especially work shows. Father, yeah. son come up. They like yeah. the idea of creating the trust, put the son in it. They both could use it. Like you said, it helps with recoil, so they maybe could shoot a bigger caliber than they're used to. Excellent. And I think, you know, when you're in a blind with a young hunter, you know, mentoring them, there's some instructions that got to go back and forth. And you have earplugs in. It might be difficult to do. This way, you can have your suppressor, not have to wear hearing protection, and you can have those communications back and forth. Yeah, 100%. So. And also, we find hunters get more comfortable shooting just because of they don't have the recoil and the you know, they, all, they have to wear the ear protection and yeah. then they get better shooters, so then yeah. they're more effective in hunting overall. And I've noticed that me personally when I shoot, sometimes I get a little flinch and I don't get it from the recoil, I get it from the sound. I right. get a flinch from the noise. Yeah, so. totally. And you know, a lot of people forget too, it helps accuracy. Having a little extra weight on the end of the barrel almost works like a bull barrel, so you're going to get a little bit tighter groups, better repeatability. Very, very good point. So, Brandon, you don't just make the process simpler. You're also a manufacturer of suppressors. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, being a dealer, we can sell anything. Yeah. But also sort of our mantra is how do we keep it simple? And the simplest way is to have inventory on the shelf, not have to worry about going through a wholesaler or another manufacturer. So you're right, we have our own line, line of products, the Banish products. Yep. Um, our newest one is the Banish 46. And that's this one right here, right? Yes, sir. So what's that one for? Yeah, good question. So this could be for your straight wall cartridges. Oh, perfect. Um, and also think of it for your big bore. That's going to work on a 338 as well. Yep. It'll even work on a pistol. So it's kind of a perfect. one for everything, if you will. Yeah, so the guys in the straight wall cartridge world that have to shoot those, they yep. can go with something like this. Exactly. It's becoming more and more popular in states for deer hunting. Yep. And uh, it's also modular, so you can make it shorter. It's 100% titanium. Perfect. It comes apart to clean. It's super lightweight. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. So. And it's the quietest 46 on the market. Yeah, so. and some for that size and then also I see this one here this is the banished 338 am I correct yes sir yeah, you so got it the guy for that magnum cartridge he's really gonna like this one totally so you know there's not that many 338 options out there no. but I have one that's 100% titanium and it comes apart to clean it's beautiful yeah. I envision guys are gonna be buying this they want to use it on a 300 wind mags you know it, sort of the hotter calibers too exactly so then they have some for their 3378 30 you know 308 300 wind mag and then also a 338 as well and you mentioned super easy to clean so basically you're just taking this apart right yep so the front end comes apart yep the baffles slide right out. You can throw them into a cleaner and then put them right back Perfect. in. And you, you guys sell, a, when I got my suppressor, it came with the tool to pull you this right it. off. Yes, so sir. Everything's yeah. there. Yeah, so, yeah absolutely. Well, guys, these things are on the market right now. You just introduced them yesterday. Yes, sir. So get out there, silencedessential.com. Get the process started. You make it simple, and you'll have a suppressor at your door in no time. It's more than adrenaline, more than a skill, and more exciting than just about anything. That's why the shooting sports are taking hold like never before. Help us keep the momentum and take someone shooting who's never been. Because if just one out of three recreational shooters bring one new person, we'll create a stronger future for this way of life than we ever imagined. So be the one. Join the Plus One movement today and take someone shooting next time. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo, and I'm joined by John Snodgrass with Loophold. And John, we're looking at a cool new product from Loophold, and it's really an evolution of a proven line. We have the Patrol 6HD, and it really stems from that VX 6HD. Can you tell me how we got from one to the other? Yeah, so as you mentioned, it is an evolution uh, from the VX6 HD, which is, you know, kind of our proven dangerous game scope. Yes. So dangerous game in the field, the dangerous game on the streets. We had some agencies that were looking for a rifle scope for their patrol rifles. We worked with them. We took their input and, and came up with the Patrol 6 HD. Yeah, so I see that we have, you know, two options here, two different models. So why don't we run through kind of some of the common features and then we'll kind of look at what might be different between these two. So both scopes, they feature a 30 millimeter main tube. So you got a good robust main tube with a, with a generous amount of travel. Mm -hmm. They both have illuminated reticles, our standard push button illumination with eight brightness settings. Okay. It's got our motion sensor technology. So that'll shut the, the illumination off after five minutes of inactivity and then comes right back on with any movement or vibration. So it saves the battery. You know, yeah, it extends little, the battery life, exactly. which is important, in, in, especially in a duty rifle. Exactly. Um, fast focus eyepieces, uh, both something's pretty cool. They both feature what we call our integrated power selector throw lever. Yeah. So that little lever gives you a little bit more leverage, a little bit faster turn when you need to go from your one power to your six power. Uh, they are a true one power, yeah. very fast scope in close quarters. 
the six times making the vacation gives you, you know, what you need for an accurate shot, shot at distance yeah. or positive ID of a target or a threat. Um, well, and that's where we're really getting into the value of a scope like this, whether it's the VX6 HD or the Patrol 6 HD. With the low power variable optics, these one to sixes, with a true one power and an illuminated reticle, you can use it like a reflex sight. But if the shot distance increases or you need identification, you can crank the power up and you can make those longer shots. And I really do think, especially, it's a great fit for these patrol style optics because that six power is really where you want to be to match your cartridge's capability. Of course, in a hunting situation, uh, some people like to go with a lot more glass, and Leupold offers that too. Exactly. But I really do think for a compact package, and that's something to note too, it's a pretty lightweight scope and very compact. It is, so they, they weigh less than 16 ounces, right around 16 ounces, mm -hmm. less than 11 inches long, so it is compact, it's lightweight, but extremely durable. And despite being compact and lightweight, it, we still kind of maintain that optical quality that we've come to trust in the VX6 line. Absolutely. Very good low light performance, which again is important in those situations. Uh, very flat field of view, so you can use the entire field of view all the way out to the edges. Extremely crisp, great resolution. Uh, just all around, it, it is our, our top tier optical system. So one of the first things I'm seeing when I look at the two different models on the table is one has uh, cap turrets, both windage and elevation, and when I Think about that, I, I, I go back to what Tom Beckstrand, our rifle and optics editor, wrote about this scope, and that is that duty use can be a contact sport. So to me, it makes a lot of sense to have capped windage and elevation turrets so that nothing gets bumped. So why don't we talk about this one? What kind of reticle do we have in this model? So this is kind of our simpler model. It's got our fire dot duplex, so just a real bold duplex reticle. Uh, but the fire dot is an illuminated dot in the center that's daylight bright. Mm -hmm. uh, again, there's eight brightness settings to match the, the environmental conditions. Right, it's very simple. It's going to be pretty much plug and play. You stick this thing on, yep. you, you set it up, you're ready to go. This one, we've got the exposed elevation turn, and it's a CDS dial. So why don't you walk me through that real yep. quick? So this is our CDS ZL2. CDS, CDS stands for Custom Dial System. Yep. So when you buy the scope, you get one free custom dial. You send us your information of what bullet you're using, muzzle velocity, and environmental conditions. We'll build you a dial that matches the drop of your bullet in 50 yard increments. The ZL stands for zero lock, so the, the dial locks at zero. Again, you're not going to bump it, or if you bump it, it's not going to move on you. Yes. Push the button to release it, then you have two full turns of travel for, for elevation adjustment. So that's going to get you out quite a ways. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this model also has our CMR2 reticle. So it is a BDC reticle. It's got a 7 MOA horseshoe, and then down below that is a BDC reticle that'll give you drops out to about 900 yards. Yeah. Uh, they have a, a level feature built into the reticle, so as you're mounting the scope, or if you're really More can't, use, yeah. But, yeah, but mounting the scope um, in the low power, it will blink until you get the scope set perfectly level. Yeah. And when, when it stops blinking, tighten down your rings, you're good to go. You can turn that feature on or off, so if you don't want it after you've got the scope mounted, you can shut it off. Seems like a great evolution of a proven line already. Again, it's the Patrol 6 HD. And if people want to find out more about these scopes, where should they go? Loophole.com. Thanks so much, John. Thank you. Hey, I'm John Toronto with Game & Fish Magazine, and I'm joined by Dusty Gibson from Winchester Ammunition. Dusty's going to talk to us about a, uh, a very exciting new big game load that you're coming out with for 2022. The packaging, might I just say, is spectacular. Hey, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Winchester's new Copper Impact is ideal for those adventurous hunts where you're going after elk, mule deer, uh, any of those big critters, especially out west. Okay, so the name obviously is your, your tip off there. This is an all copper bullet, is that right? It is, that's right. Okay. Uh, very high BC flat shooting bullets. Right, and so copper, in addition to having high, high BC flat shooting, a lot of weight retention with these bullets, is that right? Great weight retention, really okay. good penetration as well. Right. The 6.8 Western that we have here is actually capable of upsetting beyond 500 yards. So right? okay. when those distances stretch, that bullet's still gonna perform. Yeah, you're, the 6.8 Western obviously has been a very popular or cartridge ever since it was introduced, and now you're taking kind of taking it to a different level with this all copper bullet. Uh, also available in 350. Is that right? Yep, we got 350 Legend here, 150 grain bullet, um, great for Midwest whitetail, and all of our copper bullets. Uh, it actually spans a, a pretty big lineup okay. um, from all the common calibers: 308, 30 out six, 300 Win Mag. Gotcha. Um, so whatever uh, whatever your pursuit, whitetail, elk, mule deer. 
we got it covered. Fantastic. And so obviously that, that red tip really jumps out there. Talk to us a little bit about what, what kind of expansion you're seeing with these. Oh yeah, so uh, copper bullets are notorious for having real sharp edges when they expand. Those right. pedals just tear through game. Um, all these bullets are going to expand at the at distances um, where you'd normally be hunting game at, right. and they expand usually you know, almost double their original size. Fantastic. Uh, what kind of velocities are we looking at with these? So with 6.8 Western, you're actually going to maintain over a thousand foot-pounds of energy out to about 800 yards. So now these will be available for uh, the fall season this year, is that right? Yeah, we're actually loading them right now. Fantastic. So if you're heading out west or you live out west and you're looking for a new big game load, consider the Copper Impact. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo, and I'm joined by Buck from Aimpoint. And Buck, you are the director of training. Exactly, yep. And so we are looking at some new products that uh, out here at the 2022 SHOT Show. I want to start over here first. This looks like a brand new carbine optic from you. Yeah, oddly enough, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Yeah, this is the, the Duty RDS. Really, it's built specifically for law enforcement. Okay. Uh, all kinds of challenges going on in law, law enforcement today, funding and so on and so forth. But they've always wanted very, very high quality equipment. That's what we make. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, this is our effort towards them. It's, it, it delivers on what they need the most. It, I mean, it's got... Uh, it's, it's waterproof, it's got long battery life, just everything is typical of Aimpoint. This yeah. thing absolutely delivers, but at a price point that most challenged law enforcement budgets can meet. And on that optic, we're doing a little bit of a different manufacturing technique, right? To get some of those savings, but maintain that durability. Well, yeah, exactly right. So yeah, if you know Aimpoint, you know that they would not bring to market anything that won't survive right. near Armageddon. And mm -hmm. so and that's exactly what's going on here. So we've got a pressure forged case. Uh, we've got a pressure switch right here, up and down for uh, controlling the brightness. We also have turrets, adjustment turrets that don't have caps to lose, which is very important for law enforcement, right? Because we all lose, I can't tell you how many of these I've lost. So yep. the glass is, is fantastic. Uh, 30,000 hours of battery vice 50,000. Wow. Yeah. But really, honestly, you should probably be changing that every year. So, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, and you can look at it, and the thing is just a tank, and all the controls are protected. Um, and, you know, as, as our rifle and optics editor, Tom Beckstrand, would say, law enforcement can be a contact sport. <laughs> you know, so I think uh, having something that's going to stand up to that, whether it's just getting in and out of the patrol car yes. or being called into action. Absolutely you want right. something that's going to solve the problem that you have at the time and, and do it in a way that's sustainable, whether it's meeting the budgetary constraints Absolutely. or um, you know, the physical you know, yeah. needs of, of the departments. It's a wide problem set. You yeah. know, it really is a wide problem set because you have to have something that fades beautifully into the process and does not fail when you right. need it the absolute most, but it's got to meet those price points. It's got to meet all the things that the real world uh, requires right. of it, and that's kind of the that's kind of the drawing board issue, and I think we've done it. I exactly think. right, yeah. exactly right. I want to move over here to the Acro P2. Now, this one was introduced a little while ago, at least announced, but we're really starting to see these coming onto the market yes. now, yeah. and it's exciting because the Acro itself was kind of an innovation, and there are some upgrades in the P2 version. Yeah, absolutely, and it, it was an absolute innovation, I think. So it's the uh, the enclosed emitter. It was the first enclosed emitter. Mm -hmm. Really kind of launched the whole concept of that in pistol-mounted optics, which I think in probably a few years we won't see any other open formatted, yeah. you, know, you know, because of that. Um, but yeah, so the P2 has a 2032 battery. Mm -hmm. uh, still external, so you can not take the, you don't have to take the sight off to interface the battery. Yeah. Uh, the pressure switch to control brightness is a little different. We had some folks that were interacting with the pressure when they were holstering or something, or pressure pad when they were holstering. That won't happen with this. But it's still just a little tank that you bolt onto your, your pistol and it does all the cognitive work for you. I think that's probably what we miss the most, you know? I think you're right. You know, a lot of people talk about how the red dots can simplify the aiming process because of course you're going to be able to just put the dot on the target. You aren't dealing with the multiple focal planes that Absolutely. you would with iron sights. Yeah. But people sometimes leave out that with those open emitters, well, one, you have the environmental possibilities. You yeah. know, a lot of them are very good and very robust, but there's still that X factor. Yes, exactly. The other thing too is, I think these enclosed emitters, like the Acro, it helps guide the yeah, eye does. much more intuitively than you know the open emitter models. Yeah. I could absolutely bore you to death with why that is, <laughs> but suffice it to say, you're absolutely right. This tunneling effect absolutely channels that your attention and delivers the dot, and, and really that's what you want. Because a moment ago I said it helps aiming process. Really, it displaces your aiming process. Yeah. All you do is present the gun well, make the decision, and it does all the rest for you. I know the market is ready for this one. There's a lot of excitement around the Acro P2, and it's great to be able to be here with you and tell our audience 
the Acros are coming. They are so coming. for more information on the Duty RDS and the Aimpoint Acro P2, where should people go? Aimpoint.us. Thanks so much, there. Buck. You bet. We're excited you about bet. this stuff. You Thank you. Hi, David Fobbing here, Guns and Ammo Special Interest Publications. I'm here talking to Charlie Brown, the president of MKS Supply. They handle the sales and marketing of all of High Point cool firearms. Yep, we've uh, done the sales and marketing for High Point for over 35 years. Okay. And, um, you know, when we started, well, it was a pretty small company, you know, and it still is a pretty small company. It's family owned, but uh, our product line has grown quite a bit over the years. Um, I guess we're probably the most well known for our carbine line, our, our flagship being the 9mm carbine. Okay. Um, and then we've got a 380, kind of an odd caliber for a carbine, but if you think about it, a lot of people just own 380, so it makes sense. Sure. Um, 40 cal, okay. 45, and then a couple years ago we introduced a 10mm. How's that uh, been? People the, liking that? The 10 has been very strong, David, um, especially uh, places where there's larger critters okay. um, and people are fishing like Alaska and the, the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's been a very strong uh, caliber for us. So Now tell us yeah. about the paint job on this, Charlie. Well, the paint job is done in-house. We have our own hydro dipping facility called Mid-Ohio Hydro Dip, and we do a lot of dipping for uh, many other companies in the industry. Um, but this was one of our flag guns that we uh, rolled out uh, on um, July 4th this past year. We also do a, 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 car, a carbine in all the calibers in a Desert Digital um, in a woodland. And then we also had the, the infamous pink pattern that everybody had. Sure. Well, High Point Firearms is really the category leader in pistol caliber carbines. Okay. High Point Carbines. On behalf of our team of industry professionals, thanks for watching. And please tune in for the next episode of the SHOT Show new product premiere.